Psalm 130 is a psalm for today. We're told that it is a song for the pilgrims as they're ascending to Jerusalem. And this is both physically true, but also spiritually of our soul's journey through the wildernesses of this life to their home in the new heavens, the new earth, the heavenly Jerusalem. The psalmist begins, from the depths of despair, O Lord, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O Lord, pay attention to my prayer. And Augustine here comments on this psalm, likens us all to Jonah. We're in the depths, we can be in that depths of despair, especially of all the news about COVID-19 and everything else. And yet in our troubles, in our sorrows, we call out to him for help. Verse three and four, Lord, if you kept a record of our sins, O Lord, who could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to fear you. This is a beautiful verse talking about our sins, that we do sin. And yet he is the one who is faithful and just to forgive us. Uh, Jesus Christ has made a way through his cross and resurrection that we might have the forgiveness of sins. That he's opened the way of salvation and guides us on the path of life. And so, you know, we can use this opportunity just as we're reflecting today and in the next few days, just to think and dwell upon our own sin, those things that we do do wrong, but that we might then turn our eyes to the, the forgiveness of sins that is found in Christ Jesus, that we receive in the bread and wine on Sunday as we remember him and what he's done for us. Uh, we have this promise in 1 John 1, 9, that if we confess our sin to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and cleanse us from all wickedness. In verses 5 and 6 of this psalm, I'm counting on the Lord. Yes, I'm counting on him. I've put my hope in his word. I long for the Lord. More than centuries long for the dawn. Yes, more than centuries who long for the dawn. And we're people who put our hope in his word. We long for him. He's the desire of our hearts. Our longings are satisfied in him. And in verses seven and eight, O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. He himself will redeem Israel from every kind of sin. Friends, let us in this time of despair, as you know, COVID-19, all the news, everything else is going on, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is unfailing love. Our God is love. And he comes to us with that unfailing love that he pours into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. And he's that sure rock that we can hope in. So friends, hope in the Lord today.